Hi, this is Kristen Pedia with Sunshine Reviews free tutorial series. In this tutorial, we're going to discuss how to use info boxes and how to create them. First, let's go over here and see how you can use the transparency checklist. This is the school district transparency checklist, and what I'd like you to notice is this is what the output is and this is what the input is. The fact that you use curly braces to surround it means that this is actually, in essence, a template. But what info boxes are is a template with a special kind of table. Another thing you should notice about info boxes is that not every template, most templates are the exact same, but in info boxes you can fill out certain elements. For example, you can do yes, no, yes, no, or partial depending on what is posted on a government website. Now, another thing that you should notice is that there's always an equal sign and a pipeline and that all the elements are space in. And that's how you get this result. It has to be formatted the same way. So what I'd advise is always go into an article that's already done and then copy and paste it and fill it out according to your specific topic. Another use of info boxes, and probably one you're more familiar with, is a brief list of facts about an institution or a corporation or an individual. You can see here on the Buckeye Institute one that it has the name, the type of institution, has what their political party is, readership, leadership, and the transparency focus. Now, let's go ahead and create a very simple info box. And you can see here that it's almost exactly like a table. We're going to do class equals info box. Then we're going to do return a pipeline, and we're going to do a short bullet point list. So we're going to do Arizona, Alaska, we'll go ahead and we'll throw in Arkansas. And then we're going to close our table. Now I'm going to do show preview. And what you're going to see is that this code all worked fantastically. It's the upper right hand corner, you have a slight border and you have a nice list of links that you can help people navigate to other articles. However, this isn't in a template, so that means that you can't use this over and over again without copying and pasting a lot of code. So let's go ahead and create a template for this. So we're going to do template namespace, so a template in Colmar, and then we're going to do sample info box. Press return. And you're going to see here that the link comes up in red, so we're going to go ahead and create this page. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually just work with the code of another sample box that's been created. You're going to see here there's a lot of complex code, especially the if function. The if function is what allows you to fill out different information for each temp template, but keep the same formatting. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to copy and paste all of this. And then we're just going to format it to our needs. So we're going to go in here, we're going to paste it. Now we're going to be including a lot less information. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and delete all but two of these if functions. And then we're going to fill out the specific templates here to what we'd like the information to be. So it could be like organization, first name, last name, phone number, something like that. So we're going to go ahead and choose first name. We're going to paste it in three times. So first name. And then we're going to do phone. So we're going to write that in three times too. And then we're going to go ahead and save the page. What you're going to notice is that the two new entries that we filled out did not show up. That's because we have not completed the if function. So go ahead and click on contribute again and then scroll down and you're going to see the templates used on this page showing up in red which means they haven't been created. So go ahead and click on that. Now what you put inside an if function is just regular code for a table. So we're going to come back here, we're going to copy and paste this regular code. The only thing that's going to be odd about it is the number one in the three braces. And this is what allows it to be blank in case there's nothing to fill in. We're going to go ahead and delete the link. And we're just going to go ahead and type first name and a colon mark. And then we're going to save this page. 
Then we're going to go back to the editing and we're going to select the other red link. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy and paste that same code in, only this time we're going to type phone in colon mark. We're going to go back and we're going to save this page. Then one last time, we're going to go back to editing the sample info box. And when I clicked preview, you saw that I had missed one of these. So we're going to go ahead and delete that. And then we're going to save the page one last time. And you can see here we've created a new info box. Now let's say we wanted to use this info box on my sandbox page. Rather than copy and paste all that code, what we're going to do is format it similar to this transparency checklist code. So we're going to go ahead and copy that. And we're going to go ahead and paste it into the sandbox. Now we're going to change rating to first name. And we're going to change taxes to phone. And we're going to change the name of it to sample info box. And the rest of these can go. Now what you're going to need to do is you just fill out your information. So I'm going to put Kristenpedia, and we're going to put phone number down. So just make up a phone number. So you can see, I will go ahead and add an area code. And then we're going to go ahead and click on Show Preview. And you can see here that it formats it. So that's the basics to creating an info box. And like I said, these are very malleable, and you can tw you tweak them, add color, add borders, and they're really integral to designing. So if you want to use them, I would suggest maybe starting off with one for navigation and then working your way up to one where you're actually filling out bits and pieces of information like we just did. And they're also great to use on portal pages. There's a lot to talk about with these, so if you'd like to join me for one of our Wednesday webinars, they happen every Wednesday at 1 o'clock. And if you found this tutorial helpful, then please consider a contribution to Sunshine Review in order to help us maintain this site. We have a lot of other tutorials, and I hope you enjoy them as well.